Part 1 of Simplified Solar Forcing – The Long-Term Impacts You can learn more with more in-depth resources listed below the video, but for now, here are some basics of what scientists have discovered. I hope you remember this paper we covered in the morning show just a few days ago. It's a good introduction here. It was discussing how important the sun is for controlling large-scale hydrological cycle aspects of the Earth, especially in how the sun impacts El Nino and the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. The critical patterns in play in this general concept are the Walker circulation and the Hadley cells. The Walker circulation determines where and how much heat flow is moving up and the overall circulation in the tropical region. This directly translates to the Hadley, feral, and polar cells of the atmosphere. This in turn controls the jet streams and the polar jets, including the polar vortex. At the foundation of the nearly 300 studies showing how the sun impacts long-term patterns like ENSO, El Nino and La Nina, other oscillations and modes, the atmospheric jets and the pressure cells, is a working of the Walker circulation and the Hadley cells by subtle changes in solar forcing over the main magnetic cycles. These cycles on our sun are 11 years, the sunspot cycle, and the full magnetic cycle of 22 years. During these cycles, there are significant changes in ultraviolet irradiance, X-ray solar flaring, solar wind speed and density, cosmic ray flux to the Earth, and geomagnetic excitement. Now, while the sun's ultraviolet only changes about 0.1% from sunspot minimum to sunspot maximum, that can still be significant. But the other factors can change by 100 to 1,000% over these cycles. Our textbook breaks down all the relevant peer-reviewed literature on these topics. There have been dozens of studies on how the sun impacts the Walker circulation, the Hadley cells, and the pressure and jets and vortices and atmospheric flows around the world. These obviously help work the storms and temperature swings and monsoons too, and much of that has to do with two critical things. Ocean temperatures, which also have plenty of peer-reviewed studies confirming their connection to solar activity. And the scientists have even tracked how the Earth's magnetic field, solar activity, and cosmic rays all play a role together in determining how much of the space weather energy enters the Earth's system. But of course, second, the most numerous studies on solar forcing fall into the category of the oscillations. Even the mainstream scientists acknowledge the profound impact of solar cycles on ENSO, again, El Nino and La Nina, and the North Atlantic Oscillation. These are the two most important oscillations for our planet, and of course, they're not put into the official climate model math, but at least the mainstream scientists acknowledge it. Now, the third most important oscillation is the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. Also, not surprisingly, lots of studies proving the sun's impact. The same is found for both the northern and southern annular modes, which are heavily controlling of atmospheric activity outside of the tropical region. And even minor oscillations like the Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation is found over and over to be worked by the sun. Now, while there are indeed hundreds of studies on solar cycle forcing of the Walker Circulation, Hadley cells, atmospheric jets, vortices, and every significant oscillation, and their acknowledgement by the UN and the meteorological organizations around the world, still not a single one of them is allowed in the official models of the atmosphere. But it is through these forcing pathways that hundreds of other studies have shown an 11 or 22 year solar cycle forcing of temperature, precipitation, storms, monsoons, lightning, everything. To learn more, you can check out our climate playlist listed below, check out our textbook, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, Everything in this video was from chapter four, by the way, and be sure to come back tomorrow afternoon for our short-term forcing video. I'll see most of you in the morning for the daily update as well. Be safe, everyone.